Okay. Hi, everybody. Um, the grades, the test grade, the quiz grades on the volume and surface area quiz were, needless to say, not great. Although some of you did pretty well, a lot of you did not do great. So I figure I'll give you, we'll take a break from mean, median, and mode, and I'll give you a no, just one more chance to try to learn this. Um, you know, there likely will be a couple of questions on the final, and I also figure if you pay attention and you write everything down, I'll give you a chance to get some bonus points on the quiz. So remember, the volume and surface area quiz averages with the review quiz. So, you know, your grades are probably not as bad as you thought they were. But anyway, I'm going to go kind of fast. Please pause or rewind as, as you know, ask the sub to do that so that you can get everything copied. I decided not to give you a new copy of the test just to save paper. So, you know, if you need to erase what you had or add to what you had, you know, some of you don't have a lot of corrections to make, but some of you do. So please stay with it. All right, let's get started. First question is a volume question. Uh, volume equals length times width times height. There's only three numbers here, so it's 24 times 36 times 8. And they're all centimeters. Volume is always centimeters cubed to the third power. So on a calculator, 24 times 36 times 8 is 6,912 centimeters cubed. All right, again, if you just showed that work, you had it. All right, volume's easy. Um, if you broke it down and did 24 times 36 first, that's fine, but on a calculator, it's pretty easy. Time is now 3.30. If you're taking the late bus, please go to the front of the building. You can take your Okay. You know what time it is. is All right, now, surface area is harder. There's six sides to this, but you can really only see three. I'll show you the shortcut again. We're going to do this times this, this times this, and this times this, right? So that's 24 times 36, 36 times 8, and 8 times 24. 24 times 36 is 864. 36 times 8 is 288. I'm not doing it in my head. I have it written down, just in case you're wondering. 8 times 24 is 192. All right, so you have to you have to add them together. You get 1344. Now, how many sides is that? That's three sides. But this thing has six, so we need to double it, right, to do the other three sides. So the other three, 1344 times 2 is 2,000. 688 centimeters squared. And that is part of the answer. All right. Next one, it's a triangular prism. So the formula for volume is either length times width times height divided by 2 or big B base times height. Big B base means the area of the triangle. So you ha always start with the triangle. The base of the triangle is six and a half. The height is six. So you have to do six and a half times six. And six and a half is 6.5. Right? So 6.5 times 6, and then that answer times the height, which is 8. So on a calculator, if I wanted to, I could just go 8 times 6.5 times 6, and that would get me the answer. And I'd have to divide by 2. All right, so if I do that, I get 312. 312 divided by 2. Notice, guys, that I'm not using the other sides. I'm not using this. I'm not using this. I'm only using the area of the triangle times the height. It's a right angle there. All right, 312 divided by 2. 
156 meters cubed. Surface area, two triangles, three rectangles. It says right here, the rectangles are all the same size. So here's one rectangle right here. It's eight by six and a half, right? So I have to do six and a half times eight, 39. But how many of them do I have? I have three of them. No, I'm sorry, I multiplied wrong. Six and a half times eight is not 39, it's 52. My bad. Times three, 156. So there's my three rectangles. One, two, three. I still have my two triangles. The triangles are six and a half by six. Six and a half times six is, thir is 39. That seems wrong though to me now. Five times six is 30. Oh, six, three, six, seven, three. oh yes, that's right. 39. <laughs> Sorry. It's a triangle though, right? So normally I would have to divide by two. But I've got two of them. So why divide by two? So 156 plus 39. And the answer is 195 meters squared because it's area. All right, getting there, getting there. Volume of a rectangular prism. A little harder because of the decimals, but it's just the three numbers multiplied together, length, width, and height, right? Volume equals length times width times height. 2.5 times 6.31 times... 4.92 is easy as just entering that in the calculator and pressing equals. All right, volume equals 77.613 feet cubed. Not squared, cubed, it's volume. All right, surface area, the same shape. Use the trick again. They're only giving us three numbers, so it's this times this, this times this, and that times that times two, right? So that's 4.92 times 6.31 plus 6.31 times 2.5 plus 2.5 times... 4.92. All right? On a calculator, pretty pretty easy. Long numbers, though. 31.0452, and 12.3. Add them together, and you get 59... Point one two zero two. That's only three sides. We need the other three. So either add it to itself or do times two. And you get a surface area of one one eight point two four oh four feet squared. Again, part of the answer. All right, and please show that work, right? Don't just write these numbers over here, right? All right, another triangular prism, all right? Volume, base times height, all right? Little b times little h times big H height, all right? There's your right angle. We don't need the 20 for volume, all right? So it's 30 times 14 times 8, but it's a triangle divide by 2, right? Always divide by 2 with a triangle. 3,000 
360 divided by 2 equals 1,680 feet cubed. So many of you lost points just for not putting the unit squared or the units cubed. It's part of the answer. If you put it, even if your answer was wrong, you still got a point. All right. Moving on, surface area, this one's a little harder. We need big B base, right? That's right here, the area of the triangle, right? 14 times 8 is 112. And normally, I'd have to divide by 2, right? It's a triangle. But I've got two of them. So that is my two triangles. Now I have three other sides. One's 20 by 30. Right? 20 times 30 is 600. Another one, here I'll switch color, the bottom is 8 by 30. 8 by 30 is 240. The third one, the back, is 14 by 30. Alright? So, 14 times 30 14 times 30 is 420, all right? So that's the two triangles, rectangle, rectangle, rectangle. How many sides all together? Five sides. Add them up, you get 1,372 feet squared area. I think a lot of you just waited too long to try this. You sat in class watching and not trying it when you had a chance to try it. You have to be more proactive with this. All right. Um, there were a couple of these on those online reviews, one on a, on a paper homework. But if you made a net of this pyramid, it's a square base. And this would be just like an Egyptian pyramid with four triangles. The four triangles are all the same. They're all 11 by 8, which is 88, but they're triangles. So divide by 2, 44. So 44, 44, 44, 44. Four 44s, or 44 times 4, is 176. The middle part is 8 by 8, the square, so that's 64. So 176 plus 64. Surface area is 240 feet squared. Surface area. All right, area is always squared, volume is always cubed. All right, the last question. It's a cube, speaking of cubed. If this is one and three quarter, this is one and three quarter. And this is one and three quarter. Volume is length times width times height. Right? They're all the same. One and three quarter is 1.75. So 1.75 times 1.75 times 1.75. Enter it in the calculator, you get this big long number. Volume equals 5.359. Three seven five centimeters cubed volume. All right, guys, and that's it. Hopefully, you were able to write them all down, pause as needed, and um, I hope it helped you understand it a little bit better. I know um, some of you that didn't finish, you know, are bummed out about that, but we got to make it happen, guys. All right. So um, hopefully next one will be better. Thanks, guys. I'll see you on Monday. Make sure to please get the quiz signed. Bring the quiz back signed with the corrections, and I'll think about maybe throwing you some extra points, all right? Brett, it's worth it. Trust me. All right, bye.